String theory is based on the simple idea that all the four forces of the universe, gravity, the electromagnetic force, and the two nuclear forces, can be viewed as music. Music of tiny little rubber bands. So if I had a super microscope and I could look right into the heart of an electron, what would I see? I would see a vibrating rubber band. And if I twang it, it turns into a neutrino. I twang it again, it turns into a quark. I twang it again, it turns into a Yang-Mills particle. In fact, if I twang it enough times, I get thousands of subatomic particles that have been cataloged patiently by physicists. String theory, we think, is a theory of everything. Now, string theory, in turn, can be summarized in an equation about an inch long. That's my equation. This is called string field theory. And how will we test it? We are building a machine, the biggest machine of science ever built in the history of the human race, outside Geneva, Switzerland. It is the Large Hadron Collider. So the Higgs boson, we think, will be created by the Large Hadron Collider. A tube 17 miles in circumference with two beams of protons circulating in opposite directions, then slamming together, creating a shower of particles. And among these particles, we hope to find the Higgs boson. But not only that, we hope to find particles even beyond the Higgs boson. The next set of particles beyond the Higgs boson are sparticles. The next layer of the jigsaw puzzle are called sparticles, superparticles, nothing but higher vibrations, higher musical notes of a vibrating string. And what else could we do? We can also unlock the secrets of the Big Bang. You see, Einstein's equations break down at the instant of the Big Bang and the center of a black hole. The two most interesting places in the universe are beyond our reach using Einstein's equations. We need a higher theory, and that's where string theory comes in. String theory takes you before the Big Bang, before Genesis itself. And what does string theory say? It says that there is a multiverse of universes. Where did the Big Bang come from? Well, Einstein's equations give us this compelling picture that we are like insects on a soap bubble, a gigantic soap bubble which is expanding, and we are trapped like flies on flypaper. We can't escape the soap bubble. And that's called the Big Bang Theory. String theory says there should be other bubbles out there in a multiverse of bubbles. When two universes collide, it can form another universe. When a universe splits in half, it can create two universes, and that, we think, is the Big Bang. The Big Bang is caused either by the collision of universes or by the fissioning of universes.